Number one, adventuring in Wild Mount. How does it feel to exist in and play through this campaign setting itself as a player and run as a dungeon master or game master? First of all, as we mentioned, it seems like there's going to be a lot of resources. It's just chock full of things that you can retool, repurpose, and use as a DM in any campaign setting or application that you like. Beyond that, there are four distinct adventures that are rooted in each of the four unique regions of Wild Mount. The first one is the Menagerie Coast, which is a coastal-like seafaring setting said to cater to those who want a more ship-faring, possibly swashbuckling type high seas adventure featuring the Clovis Concord. I hope I didn't screw that up. Critters, forgive me, I'm trying real hard here. The second centers around Western Winendir, which is where the Dwindelian Empire makes its home. Definitely more city and civic focus, this arc promises more political intrigue, influence, power jockeying, and other types of social hurdles that exist in and around the city of Hyperduke. Now the second arc centers around Western Wynandir, which promises to be more politically charged, more about social influences and the nuances and intrigue that exist in the inner sanctum of these warring factions. As a home of the Dwindelian Empire, most of this promises to center around the city of Hyperduke. The third arc rounds out ongoings in Eastern Wynandir, where the Kreen Dynasty makes its home, or like we said, primarily drow factions. This is the seat of the blasted land of Zoras and focuses on the dynasty's push into the current war where the players will find themselves in the middle of a military campaign on behalf of the Green Dynasty. Now faced with their military objectives, there's presumably or teasedly going to be some kind of mystical or unforeseen issue or challenge that takes that campaign off course into something completely unforeseen. The fourth and final arc takes players into the biting north or the glacial frozen wastes of Wild Mount, where some mystical power rooted in the ancient legacy of divergence has said to left some dormant power awaiting explorers to unearth or unice. So now that we've got the lay of the land, I wanted to look a little bit further into Matt Mercer's Dunamancy or this new magic practice altogether. 